Hey guys, this is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. Doing a space weather update and a geomagnetic storm forecast for this uh, for these X flares that just fired off yesterday. It's 11:52 a.m. Mountain Time, September 7th. Now here's the sunspot in question. Unfortunately, as we slept, there were two more M flares and another X flare just about six hours ago. We're waiting on the data for that. But this video is going to be focused on the shockwave coming from these X flares. If you look at the planetary K index, you can see the shockwave from the initial M flares arrived about 12 hours ago, and it wasn't as severe as it could have been. It didn't even get into geomagnetic storm here, and we've come back down into geomagnetic quiet, really. If you look at the telemetry here, you can see the speed here increase, and now it's decreasing. The density is staying pretty regular, but it didn't get above this hash line. You come over here to the three-day geomagnetic storm forecast. Let me quick show you the blast again. Here are the X flares, where you can see the halo all around, including the backside here. Come in our direction. That was the sunspot. If we look at the Iswa modeling here, you can see the shockwave coming. And when that hits us, you can see on all three of these, the Earth is the yellow dot. Uh, sometime on the 8th, tomorrow morning. So you have about 24 hours to prepare for this. Let's get to the actual forecast here. And it shows that geomagnetic storms could start as early as midnight, maybe a G3 storm here. High potential for G3 storms throughout the day on the 8th and into the 9th. And I think it might get up into G4. There's no way to know until we get there. So to be safe, I would say put some of your secure uh, electronics in a Faraday cage. Put it in your microwave if you have a shipping container or something underground. Just to be safe. There is going to be problems with this geomagnetic storm in satellites, definitely ham radio operators. Potentially grid failures, not large scale because the shockwave from the M flares, which is going to increase, I believe, because they peaked out over a period of a day there. And then what we still have to worry about is this other X flare following up this shockwave. So we're waiting on data from the X flare that just happened six hours ago. And we're waiting on the shockwave to arrive sometime tomorrow morning. Now let's look at the model here. So you can see what I showed you, the density increase and the speed increase. This, the K index here went up when we entered this green band. Notice the green band here coming across Earth. We're in the green band now, and then the white shockwave is gonna hit us while we're in here. And as you can see in the green band, it goes to yellow. So the grand is the green band, the M flare shockwave is going to increase until the x-wave flare shockwave hits us sometime tomorrow morning and the shockwave could last as long as 12 hours it's looking on this model we won't know till we're there but that's a good estimate 12 hours in a g3 to g4 geomagnetic storm won't be a lot of youtube uploads tomorrow <laughs> i assure you so you can share this with your family and friends. One other thing I want to talk about is not only where there, maybe there'll be some brownouts and, sh and power outages. You should maybe have some flashlights and backup power supplies for your freezers or refrigerators, maybe in some areas. It's always good to be prepared instead of scared. There are also human health impacts. And what I'll do is I'm going to put a link down in the description box to some scholarly articles on health risks and geomagnetic storms. And I'll also put a link to this chart, which is easy to follow. When the KP is down at zero, you have to worry about cosmic ray risks. When the KP as tomorrow, when it gets above six, you'll have to worry about geomagnetic storm risks. Um, so this will all be in the description box down on the bottom. If you have anybody that this could help, please share it with them. Um, I hope this helped you guys. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Be safe.